Hello everyone and welcome to my simple Tuesday morning. I hope you are all doing well and thanks for coming back again. Um, it's nice to make a little connection with you. Hopefully you're starting to get to know me a bit and yeah, enjoy. The morning starts off with really bad weather. It's freezing, it's cold, it's horrible and dark. Keen's been playing in his little toy kitchen and I need to get on with a few household jobs. I have two laundry loads to do today. The kids were told that there's baskets on the stairs to leave the stuff in and it works. Just getting some of the stuff in the kitchen put away and some of the washing needs doing and the sides need wiping down from breakfast. A few toys that were scattered out. Not too bad actually, quite surprising. I'm actually shocked editing this that there wasn't actually that much pots either. I must have been a very good girl last night. This bit is usually where all the toys go to. Kane has cars in the kitchen, he has food in the kitchen, real food in the kitchen, everything and anything. Can you sweep it? See, sometimes it gives you a shock. I've got little spiders all over the house. And the other day I forgot about them and I got bloody nearly had an heart attack. Oh, and the Uber broke the other week. Now the bloody dryer is broke, so I don't have a dryer. It's like one thing breaks and then another. Does anyone have that problem? You'll buy loads of fridge food or freezer food or something like that. Then they have no bloody bread. I tell you, if I had no luck, I'd have none. I mean, if I had bad luck, I'd have none. That was the saying I was trying to say. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep doing this and then we're going to sort in the kitchen. last night and the call pips she said i was like what but yeah they're like little rhubarb and custard hard boiled sweets they're really nice she seriously has made a mistake with letting me be home with her bag whoops i think i've had a leg injury <laughs> Anyway, yeah, so just a bit more cleaning from the front room. Was mainly taking bits and bobs from the morning away because it's a bit of a rush some mornings. Like I said, that was in the front room. I shouldn't have been there. And then it was mainly, that noise is keen playing in the background, noisy. Then it was basically hoovering the floor and picking some bits up. And Keen loved the hoover. There's the dog. What's that doing there? Blocking views. Look at Keen. Sometimes you can't get the hoovering done until Keen decides to stop listening to the hoover. <laughs> He's a funny little one. Ah! I just noticed Keen had noticed obviously the camera on and he was looking right at it. Oh! So yeah, I like to get the hoovering done, like I said. There's usually lots in our house to hoover with crumbs off the bed and everything. And that one's that done. The room's all hoovered and clean. Yep, moving on. In the passage, I just started to pick up a few shoes and also I noticed that the ceiling decoration has fell down so I need to reattach that. And just to hoover the floor and this area is done. Upstairs actually, it was just basically hoovering and putting a few bits and bobs away. Kane's probably going to start pulling out more and more toys and yeah, yeah, the lights. Is it the lights? Where's the lights? So yeah, that's all I had to do up here, and that was that, and then it's off to the shops, and the dirt is still totally miserable. Wet, dull, bleh. Turn on the light again. Ooh, muffins for me. Freshly baked muffins. Books, as you know, Kane loves them, and a bit of rough and tumble play, which he was absolutely loving. He was getting braver and braver. Can I also just say, anyone who has subscribed or watched a video or anything like that or commented, thank you very much. I would like a better camera to be better quality and obviously my audio is not that good either but hopefully in the future. Have you ever just sat and watched what your baby does? It's so funny some of the things they do. This time he's just shouting to himself like bah, bah and flinging every single book out <laughs> and he'd done this quite a while. After the cleaning, we need to pop out to the shop for a few bits, so that's where we're going now. Look at the muddy puddles. Kane was loving this. He didn't like the squirrel hat, so we had to keep putting the blue hat on him. He seems to keep the blue one on. But yeah, he was absolutely loving that. It's the first time he's ever done this, guys. So this and we're back in, and what did we get, Kane? We got Kane's favourite melty sticks. He's like the gorgeous. 
There was a deal on the Andrex. These ones actually have little puppy shapes on toilet rolls. I absolutely love that. They're only four quid and you got nine. Got my dinner for the day. These are my favourite. Gordon Ramsay would be proud. They're absolutely lush. I love them, me. I don't put the sauce on, like, I just do the cheese in the hand. And that came from a little tiny biscuit. Anti back wipes. Shampoo, because Cody loves to tip out the shampoo. I don't know why, I don't know how or what he's doing, but yeah, every day we never have shampoo. We have to like hide it in the top of the toilet, you know. And then Keen found this in the little charity shop that was near these shops, so he'll have fun. Let's go and see what he does with it. Looks at Keen's face, it's a winner. Is that the pan? Should we turn it on? <gasps> oh! Pizza! Does it come apart? The cake go in there. The pizza pie goes in. Should we put it on full wax? Yup. Don't burn that pie, Keen. Should we put it in? In the oven? Oh! One, two, three. From pretend food to real food. We're now having our dinner. Keen's had mm. hot pot and a biscuit, and I'm having them little wraps. Yummy. Voila! Look at that. No need to even cook. I'm attempting to do this pasta stick thing I've seen on TikTok. So you'll need pasta, and then you boil the pasta as normal in a pan. So I've got to do this first. That pasta I said I was making, yeah? I got a little distracted playing with Keen and stuff. And look. That is pasta. That is actually pasta. It looks like pizza. I wonder if that's a new invention. It smells burnt, really burnt. Oh my God. Once you have your cooked pasta, not burnt, you want to start adding it to your stick. No. Oh yeah. Let's go to the zoo. Am I a good singer? So you want to stick it all on the stick so it looks like a little line of them. I don't know how many. It was like, kind of few, so there's, you know, like that. It's really hot as well, guys. It's just been cooked, so by pulling some weird faces, it's taken me a while. So you want to have a few sticks like that. Do about five, six, seven sticks so they fit on a bacon tray. Then you want to get your chosen sauce. I think they have like tomato, normal tomato pasta sauce. And you want to spread it on your pasta like a pizza base so you want to just spread it on okay spread spread then you want to add your grated cheese and add that into the oven and let it melt when your cheesy pasta sticks are baked they come out looking rather delicious we put ham on they also add like peppers pepperoni any topping you like really sort of like a pizza on a stick that's not pizza it's pasta that's what it's sort of like and when you go for your sticks you pull it and yeah you've got your cheesy pasta stick look at that all oh, the cheese the sauce the tastiness yeah do try it guys and let me know if you liked it, it does look really nice when I've seen it so yeah guessing this is going to be a winner with us after we had and Keen's knocked over the Legos. After we had dinner and a nap and that, it was time for the kids to come home. So here they are. And Megan has a bath bomb to try out. Well, and where did you get this from? Oh, How much was it? Do you remember? Um, bargain. What do you think, Keen? Bargain. So we're going to fit it. Apparently, there's a toy inside, isn't there, Megs? And the little bath bomb did an half fizz. It was really bright orange as well. Seemed to really like it. Our Sky wouldn't be able to use it like because she's got allergies to colouring, so that would be no good for her. It smells nice. It actually does. It does actually smell nice. Mm. Smell better than what? Normal water. It smells nice, doesn't it? I like it. Did you like the bath bomb? Come in, yes. Come in. Did you? Are you even done, Kings in the Cody's in the teepee. Come in, come in. Are you going knock knock on the door? Yes. Oh, He's trying to get in there. What are you up to? What are you doing? King, knock knock. Where's Cody? Oh, are you using your car? I need some groceries. 
I need a hot chocolate. You want hot chocolate? Yeah. Well, school good today then, Coach. I stood on a piece of this, which hurt, so now I need to collect it all up. Thank you, Keen, for the extra job that I didn't have to do. If anyone has any hacks on picking up Lego really quickly, do share them with me in the comments, because I'd love to know that. Oh, it just takes forever, doesn't it, to get it all up? It's quite a nightmare, to be fair. And then you leave some out and you stand on it. Ouch, the pain. So, Keen, since I cleaned up this morning, has... Ripped all the books out. Yeah. Ripped all the cars out. He's pushed all the Lego over, haven't you? What else have you done? Yeah. You got messed all over with dinner. You've got all the biscuits out, didn't you? And you've got all the cups, the cups and the plates out too. Jeez. Pretty cute. A Lego. Yeah, well. The fire truck. What are you showing, Mummy? Say hello. <laughs> also guys let me know if you like our pumpkins we carved I really pushed the ball out I got the whipped cream the kids are gonna be my best friend for like Is there anything better than heating on hot chocolate ago to it take away en route yesterday night? The kids are definitely going to enjoy these and we're all ready and cozy for Hocus Pocus. Night everyone, thanks for watching.